Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm on a mission to build the world's most sustainable locomotives using the power of steam. Many of you have been wondering how I came to be building a steam locomotive, and why. When I was a child, I learned about climate change and the devastating effect that using fossil fuel is having on our environment. It was then that I went on a mission to develop an engine, an engine that would power our world without fossil fuels and their consequences. As it turned out, the journey to today has been much less about developing an engine, and mostly about understanding the problem. Early on, encouraged by hype in books and on the internet, I thought the answer was hydrogen. I began experimenting, first building electrolyzers that use electricity to produce hydrogen gas by splitting water. These electrolyzers would allow electricity from wind or solar to be stored as chemical potential energy for portable uses. I soon discovered, however, that the amount of hot water generated by this process meant that more than 20% of the energy was being wasted. And that was before another 50% was wasted trying to do something useful, like powering a vehicle. I realised that batteries offered twice the efficiency of hydrogen, but even then, the environmental impact of manufacturing batteries and the solar panels or wind turbines to charge them didn't really solve the problem. I wanted to find a more natural solution, something closer to nature, because after all, we rely on nature to supply the food that fuels us. In later years at secondary school, I became a little distracted from this mission by embarking on a project to build a personal aircraft under the slogan, Sustainable Freedom. For propulsion, I experimented with gas turbines due to their potential clean burn and multi-fuel capability. For convenience, my experiments relied on propane fuel, but the plan was really to use liquid biofuels. It didn't quite work out as I expected though. I returned to the mission, using my gas turbine learnings to develop a biofuel turbine engine. Biofuels offered the more natural solution I sought, using nature's own version of solar panels and batteries, plants. Turbine engines could use this biofuel without generating the harmful emissions that diesel engines would. Green Fuels, a local manufacturer of biodiesel, very kindly donated 400 litres to the project, which was lucky because it wasn't cheap to buy. After designing, building and testing many different prototypes, I was learning a lot. For example, I'd gained an understanding of fluid dynamics that later on would make it a natural step to understand steam locomotive exhaust theory. Long before gas turbines, I had experimented with steam boilers and engines made out of the scrap I could find lying around my family's small farm. But I had read that steam was old fashioned, it was inefficient and had no role to play in the future. Despite this, I now found myself inspired to investigate STEAM further after reading this book, but for some reason, I never read the final chapter until much later. While gas turbines were efficient at full power output, under normal part load and idle conditions, they were very inefficient. In contrast, steam engines typically reached their highest efficiencies at part load and could sit idle for long periods without burning any fuel. Like gas turbines, they could burn the fuel much cleaner than internal combustion piston engines. So, I made the switch to steam. This required a lightweight boiler that, at the time, I thought would be straightforward enough. The prototype boilers that resulted drew heavily on the work of steam car designers, combined with my understanding of combustion from the gas turbine. Steam car boilers were often of the water tube type, where steam is generated in a long, continuous coil of tubing. This offers many advantages, allowing higher pressures to be used for increased engine efficiency, along with reduced weight and increased safety. Exactly what was needed. Drawing from my experience with the gas turbines, I built a new steam turbine from scratch.
While undertaking research for the steam turbine, using both books and the internet, I had read about Livio Dante Porter's work continuing the development of the steam engine after the rest of the world had abandoned it, and the modern steam locomotive developments around the world that followed as a result of his efforts. In 2014, I'd also joined the Canterbury Steam Preservation Society, where I had encouraged a switch from coal to wood firing the locomotives. By using only wood, locomotive cleaning and maintenance was greatly reduced, and often wood was available from tree trimmings on site. Also, waste wood that would otherwise be dumped in landfills was available at no cost. If still more wood was needed, it was readily available from local firewood merchants. While at the society, I had seen firsthand the problems presented by conventional locomotive boilers, such as the many hours it took to raise a head of steam, and the spark and smoke emissions that prevented us from operating trains in summer. Seeing this had inspired me to design and build a prototype wood-fired boiler. Combining the design of a locomotive boiler with the steam car technology I had experimented with earlier. Through his experiments and innovations, Porter had proven that the efficiency of steam locomotives could be increased threefold or more, often just through small tweaks to conventional design practices and a change in attitude. Research also showed that compared to a liquid biofuel crop, wood fuel could use as little as one tenth of the land area to supply the same amount of energy. It was at this very point that I finally read the final chapter of Giants of Steam, which helped me understand that the steam locomotive was exactly the sustainable engine I'd been trying to develop ever since learning about the damage fossil fuel was doing to our environment as a child. I rebuilt my prototype boiler, and after much development it could raise a full head of steam in 5 minutes, it could burn any wood without a hint of smoke, and emit not a single spark. To really prove its effectiveness, I set out to find an old locomotive for which to build a new boiler. I had no such luck, so I decided instead to build a brand new locomotive from scratch. This was a good option in the end because it allowed Porter's many improvements to be incorporated throughout the design, but it meant starting out with nothing. While I was designing the prototype locomotive, or more like learning how to design a locomotive at all, I was given an opportunity to retrofit one of Porter's most important developments, the Lempore exhaust, to a locomotive at the Steam Preservation Society. At the same time, I fine-tuned the loco's valve settings and fixed a huge leak in one cylinder that somehow appeared to have gone completely unnoticed since it was built in 1943. The Lempore exhaust exceeded all expectations, and it taught me a lot about advanced steam locomotive technology, at exactly the right time. Work on concepts for the new locomotive continued full time over the course of several years. The sheer quantity of locomotive designs that had been developed during the heyday of steam, and the diesel and electric locomotives that followed, left me with a problem. Which concept was best? I explored the many different concepts, from fairlies to garrets, pacifics to mountains, and gears to rods, until I finally understood the advantages of nearly every concept, and settled on the 260 mogul we're building today.